Well, it was an uneventful session, although there were some key narratives today in the market. Perhaps it was muscle memory, but uh, there was a point where all the major equity indices were at all-time highs during the session, but they did tumble into the close. No panic, but a realization that the last round of earnings saw even companies that had big beats greeted with their stocks selling off. So this caution tone or cautionary tone of the session, it was reflecting the utilities, the ultimate safe haven. You've got a whole lot of high-paying dividend names there, some of which are on the board right now. Financials, though, they slumped after earnings from J.P. Morgan and Citigroup. Raised red flags with respect to consumers. At J.P. Morgan, loan loss provisions were up $223 million from a year ago. And at Citi, consumer business credit loss surged 26% from a year ago. The best performing sector, however, was the S&P Industrials. Uh, and, and Dow Jones Transportation hit an all-time high, led by truckers, coincidentally, the day after President Trump spoke with them about the benefits of his tax plan for the industry. Now, the overall biggest winner of the day, even the biggest winner of the year, Bitcoin rallied more than 10 percent today. It's up 438 percent for 2017. The cryptocurrency, though, was dissed by Jamie Dimon. It was shut out by China, and still it has been unstoppable. Yet everybody agrees it's the blockchain technology behind these cryptocurrency that's really revolutionary with the potential to eliminate online fraud like we're seeing in Equifax and maybe even eliminate fiat currencies, too. Here to discuss Chris Miglio, Migliano, uh, founder and CEO of, of SRAC. Uh, Chris, a few things here. Uh, Bitcoin. It keeps going up. China hit it. Jamie Dimon hit it. It goes down for a few days, maybe a week, and then it comes back. Why is it so, there's so much resilience here? Well, the, what everybody doesn't understand is that the technology that we see here is the most uh, life-changing technology that we've seen since the Internet started. Uh, what's happening now on blockchain is revolutionizing every single business. The reason that people like Jamie are talking negatively about Bitcoin is because they are seeing that's a, a complete transformation of their business. They're seeing that the decentralization of control of the monetary system is uh, changing the dynamics of their business. There's uh, right. both business and consumer lending that is is changing and it's making a world of difference. You know, ironically, though, Jamie Dimon today on the conference call was complimentary of blockchain. Blockchain, that's the real deal, right? That's going to revolutionize everything. And it is now. It's the decentralization of, of all of these industries. I just spent the last few days at a conference in Los Angeles where uh, I saw amazing ideas from amazing entrepreneurs that are looking to make a difference in the world and take the power of a single entity owning something and putting it back in the hands of the consumers, back in the hands of the people that uh, own things. Right. I know your company does something very similar to that uh, with the cryptocurrency uh, component. Yes. Where do you think it all goes? Can Bitcoin go higher? I mean, is the sky really the limit here? We're at the, uh, the dial-up speed of Internet right now. So if you think back to when AOL was starting and you were excited to get online with your dial-up speed, that's where we are within blockchain technology. It's just at its infancy on a scale of you know, 1 to 100. We're at 2 right now. The reason you're seeing things grow right. so much on top of it is because there's so many more applications that are being built on top of this technology that require Bitcoin to be involved so there's more demand for Bitcoin.